No. I can't risk the Quarian fleet. Not to save the Geth. Shepard. They tried to flee. Stay on them. Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at the hardest decisions in the Mass Effect series. Which one made you want to reload your save and try again? Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? Not likely. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait, you don't need to do this, Morden. For this video, we're diving into the most difficult moral dilemmas in all four Mass Effect games. Be warned, there are major spoilers ahead for the entire series. The Salarian Pathfinder, Mass Effect Andromeda. There isn't time to save both. Once the Kett restore power, you'll be trapped. Upon finally locating the Salarian Ark, Ryder discovers it's in the hands of the Kett, and the Salarian Pathfinder Reka, along with many other Salarians, are in grave danger. But it's not as simple as just freeing the Salarians, because the Kett have captured a group of Krogan scouts and are threatening to exalt them. Ryder, my scouts! Ryder needs to choose between saving the Krogan or saving the Salarians, and whichever group doesn't get rescued will appear as part of the Ket forces for the rest of the game. The mutant Krogan are certainly the more dangerous enemy later on, but can you really afford to lose yet another Pathfinder? Whatever the case, the Salarian people are forever in your debt. Earn this. The Rockney Queen, Mass Effect. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. Many years before humanity discovered the mass relays, the galaxy's other major races were waging a long and brutal war against an insectoid race called the Rachni. The problem was that the Rachni, while intelligent, were impossible for other species to communicate with, leading to their complete eradication to end the war, or so it was thought. Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? In Mass Effect, you'll stumble across the last remaining Rachni Queen and her hive, and it's down to Shepard whether or not to save the Rachni or finish the job the Council started. Be careful, because whatever you choose will change not only how the Council treats Shepard, but also what form the Rachni Queen's return in Mass Effect 3 will take. The Suicide Mission Mass Effect 2. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. The second game in the trilogy boasts one of the best finales in gaming history. It's down to Shepard to finally storm the Collector base and defeat Harbinger. And you have to choose who comes along and who does what job. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. In order to complete the mission with everybody alive, you've got to fully upgrade the Normandy, complete everybody's loyalty mission, and make sure you ask them to fill the right role. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. But if you storm the base completely blind, you won't know the specific requirements to completely master this mission, meaning you'll have no idea who, if anybody, will survive. That's what makes it such an intense, gripping, and emotional conclusion. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. The Ancient AI, Mass Effect Andromeda. I fought them off, but my energy stores are now drained. I am near death. Another lie. She is tied to a deep power grid. I beg you, have pity on me. Ryder heads to the icy planet Vold to clear it of Ket, and this time, the Ket are focused closely on an archaeological excavation of an old Angaran city, Janik. Once you've battled your way through an icy cave, you'll stumble across a strange, ancient AI. The Angara are advanced, but I haven't heard anything about living AI. Our oral history doesn't describe one. But the AI clearly isn't trustworthy, repeatedly lying to Ryder about being weak and powerless, and then attempting to kill an Angaran. That's not cool! No! You first got to choose whether to save the Angaran by killing the AI or letting the AI live but losing the Angaran, and then whether to take it back to the Nexus or send it to Aya for further study. 
the choice will come back to bite you in the final mission because the Angara can use the AI to help out. You're absolutely right. Thank you! Thank you! The Genophage data. Mass Effect 2. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. If you think it can be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified Genophage. Should destroy this. Long before the games begin, a violent war between the Krogan and the Salarians led to the creation of the Genophage, an engineered plague that meant only one in 1,000 Krogan births would survive. By Mass Effect 2, you're wrangled into helping the Salarian Morden, who worked on the Genophage, go after his rogue apprentice Malon, who's trying to cure the Genophage, only he's doing it through unethical experiments. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait, you don't need to do this, Morden. Once you've dealt with Malon, you've got a choice. Do you destroy his data and thus hamper attempts to find a cure, which Morden wants you to do, or do you preserve the data in the hope that one day the Krogan can be saved? Keep the data. Better to have it and not need it. Point taken, Shepard. The Council. Mass Effect. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. During Sovereign's attack on the Citadel at the conclusion of the first game, Shepard has another tough call to make. Joker's waiting in a nearby system with reinforcements from the Alliance and can come in to save the Council if Shepard unlocks the mass relays, or alternatively, Shepard can let the Council die in favor of preserving the Alliance fleet for help taking down Sovereign. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. Sacrifice the Council for the greater good? I sure hope you know what you're doing. The Council has been frosty to humanity and a little distasteful of Shepard for the whole game so far, which will continue into the sequel if Shepard lets the original Council perish. Saving the Council cements humanity's place in the galaxy, though lives will be sacrificed in the process. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. The Exaltation Facility, Mass Effect Andromeda. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the Ket will simply fill this place again. You're finally able to save the Angaran Moshe from the Ket facility she's being held in, but Ryder is in for a grim discovery. The Ket are actually Angarans that have been captured and forcibly transformed into Ket, a process called Exaltation. Like them, I was once wretched and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. When you recover the Moshe, you have a choice to make. You either save the Angara still trapped in the facility, but leave it intact and potentially able to be used again, which is what Jal wants you to do, or you destroy the facility, but kill the Angara still trapped inside, which is what the Moshe wants you to do. It's definitely a hard choice. Not likely. Curing the Genophage. Mass Effect 3. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. The Genophage makes its final return in Mass Effect 3, where finally, after all this time, Shepard gets the opportunity to resolve it, which will be made easier or harder depending on what you did to Malon's data. You head to Tachanka, the Krogan homeworld, to take advantage of a device called the Shroud to distribute the cure across the entire planet. The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. But while Morden now wants to undo the damage the Genophage he helped develop did, other Salarians will implore Shepard to sabotage the Shroud and make it so the Genophage continues. The Salarians are concerned that the warmongering Krogan could threaten the well-being of the galaxy, but is that risk worth destroying an entire species? I made sure the Genophage cure wouldn't work. It was the price for Salarian cooperation. The Geth or the Quarians? I beg you, do not do this, please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. The Quarians may have created the Geth, but they've been at war for hundreds of years since the Geth rebelled. But you eventually learn that the Geth aren't all that bad. You end up with a Quarian, Tali, and a friendly Geth, Legion, on your team by the time this choice rolls around. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Legion wants to give the Geth full intelligence, but doing so will let them destroy the Quarian war fleet. 
Tali wants you to stop Legion, so you lose the support of the Geth in the war against the Reapers. Whoever you betray will die. There's a third option to broker peace, but only if you met some very specific requirements in Mass Effect 2. For a lot of people, all they got was this painful dilemma. We regret the deaths of the creators. They made their choice. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Exile or release the first murderer. Mass Effect Andromeda. Nilken meant to kill but didn't succeed. Should he be punished or not? A convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Rescue Chorus or the civilians. Mass Effect 3. Admiral Chorus wants you to leave him and save civilians, but he's vital to the war effort. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. Saving Ashley or Caden, Mass Effect. Do you save the experienced soldier or potential love interest? Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. The ending, Mass Effect 3. No. I'm gonna end this war on my terms. After five years of wondering how this immense conflict between the organic races and the synthetic reapers would play out, we were finally given the resolution in the form of one last choice in Mass Effect 3. The only problem was that all the options were terrible. The first one, Destroy, saw Shepard destroy not only the Reapers, but all synthetic life in the galaxy. The second saw Shepard seize control of the Reapers to continue their cycle of wiping out intelligent life. And the third, which merges organic and synthetic life, was only unlockable if you had enough military power. The backlash was so strong that Bioware edited it and added a refuse ending when you choose none of them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.